in my opinion, TSM is a very user-unfriendly application or add-on. So I decided to make this no bullshit uh, video where we pretty much just going to install it step by step, including the desktop application that displays the, uh, the pricing percentages in the game. We're just going to sell something on the auction house and we're going to buy some stuff from the auction house using uh, imported groups. Uh, so the goals are very simple for this first episode. If you would like me to make a second episode where I might go into, uh, I don't know, the macros and some other group stuff, some more advanced stuff, then uh, like and subscribe for more, you know the drill. But at the same time, I'm also a massive noob when it comes to this application. I only really used it back in TBC Classic for a while and I've had a lot of problems with it. So I'll, uh, I hope I can help you with this really uh, difficult to use uh, application. So thanks. So first of all, we're going to install the add-on itself go into CurseForge and then you need to get more add-ons and search for Trade Skill Master. I'm just going to type in Trades. If you just type in TSM, it's not going to find it and just simply install it. Now, of course, there's always going to be people that don't want to use CurseForge. And uh, in that case, you can just go into your World of Warcraft installation, uh, Classic, Interface, Add-ons, create this folder if you don't have it and uh, uh, drop the unzipped file here, but to be honest with you, if you are not using CurseForge, I don't know what the hell you are doing, my son. Now, once you log into RuneScape 2008, verify that the TSM add-on is installed by clicking on add-ons here, and as you can see, Trade Skill Master is uh, new, and uh, it is there. What I like to do, though, is for all of my characters, I disable TSM, and I have like Auctionator or even just the basic YUI is better, probably. And I have a banker character where I disable everything, only enable trade skill master and whatever I need uh, for my inventory and uh, that's it. Now once we log in, we can go visit an auctioneer Please. and you have this uh, brand new UI for TSM. If you click on browse and search the auction house, you can search for the items that you want. So it's just like the Y UI and as you can see, we found some linen cloth and uh, these are bid only, but uh, this we can just buy out. And it actually observed that these are multiple posts of stacks of one linen cloth. Buying this would mean that we buy 18 linen cloth in one uh, stack. Uh, so it would be like, um, went almost like 18 times of 23 copper, right? And it does display it in... Uh, the general chat here however you might have noticed that we are not seeing any percentage information um, as you would see with other youtubers that use tsm for instance well this is why we need to install the desktop add-on and once you log in it does actually tell you tsm doesn't currently have any auction db pricing data um, we recommend you to download the desktop application now for those of you TSM veterans, back in the day you could type in forward slash TSM scan, but that no longer exists. The only way to get uh, the, like whatever the percentage data, uh, the pricing data is to get the desktop application. So this is what we are going to do now. So we are on tradeskillmaster.com. I swear I'm not sponsored by Opera GX. <laughs> going to log in and uh, create an account and then uh, obviously create an account for yourself you will need to uh, click on the verification link in your email once that's done log in as you can see i'm logged in here you will need to go to install tsm and we've already got the classic add-ons so all we need is the trade skill master windows application the first time you are running the setup.exe your uh, pc will probably give you an error but uh, don't worry just install it and once you are done installing it you need to manually launch it uh, this one is actually called TSM application and not trade skill <laughs> so launch the app and then you have to log in again with the account that you've just created and here we are um, it's gonna give you some really weird error messages at the top so first of all we're gonna have to select our WoW directory by clicking on settings and then the WoW directory 
It has to be the WoW directory that is just uh, called World of Warcraft. You don't have to go deeper into Classic or anything like that. And also, before you click on Done, uh, click on Setup Realms. Here we need to select which server we are on. And because we are doing, uh, because we are playing on Wrath Classic, unfortunately, uh, we're gonna select our server. Giant Stalker Horde, not Alliance. Add Realm. Let's go back to the Traits Skill Master application. Click on Done. And then it's gonna give you the error message saying that you have no Realm set up for the game versions you have. So you have to go into add-on versions and um, basically this is really weird but at the very beginning you're gonna have none of these installed even though i have removed the application like 15 times already um, it's storing these files somewhere so you will never be able to completely delete this damn application but anyways i digress what you will need is um great skill master bcc and tsm app helper bcc BCC is um, the Burning Crusade, um, which is annoying because it's not TBC, it's BCC, and also uh, we are not in TBC, we are in Wrath, but whatever, we're just gonna double click this and install this. It's still gonna display this stupid error message, so we're gonna relaunch the application, and uh, now it should be fine. Everything is up to date. Don't worry about these, it, it updates periodically but it doesn't even update all the all the time so whatever i think you can even close this i'm just gonna minimize it and launch the game and you can actually check in the add-ons list that trade skill master app helper this is probably the bcc uh, version was actually installed again for all of my characters i'm not gonna use this i'm only gonna use trade skill master on uh, my banking character so now we have logged in and as you can see because we've installed the stupid desktop application now we can see the percentage info right here and we know what to buy now just a, one short tip for what to buy basically you want to buy like green or blue stuff uh, what this represents is 100% is what the application thinks is a market price so it's like the baseline price so for instance for this lip of rune tap um, I can't really check what the market price would be. Oh no, I actually can. I'm stupid. Uh, when I hover over it, it says the market price is 5 gold, 73 silver. And so as you can see, there's a bunch of these at below market price. At like 61% market price, 69% nice market price. I could buy all of these up and uh, repost it at like 100%. And uh, make some money, but obviously nobody, but obviously nobody would buy these because this is actually a really good rune for Death Knights to heal their party. But as we all know, Death Knights only think about themselves, so this would be a bad buy. Now, instead of just typing in stuff into this damn search every time, you might have seen other YouTubers using TSM just clicking on a list here, running a shopping scan. But what gives it? It doesn't work. It's not displaying anything. Well, this is where the TSM rule comes in. And always remember that TSM is stupid and not user friendly, but we are also stupid. So we have to create a group, a shopping list of sorts. Uh, to do that, you need to go into the TSM settings by typing in forward slash TSM. And you can create a macro for this. And then you need to go into groups and you need to create a group uh, let's rename this to uh, cloth stuff and then into that cloth stuff there's two ways to add items one of them is have them in your inventory we already have some linen cloth here that we can click on and add or you can remove them but as you might have imagined we are not going to have a bunch of uh, cloth in our inventory to fill up this list with like rune cloth, mage weave, silk and whatever. And you might be wondering, well, you can just search for it, right? You can just search for rune cloth. But no, the only two ways of adding stuff into your like shopping list is either have them in your inventory, like with this linen cloth, 
or you need to import a string that is in the description right now, download it, and it's going to add the items uh, that are in that string. The one I've shared in the description below actually contains every single item that you ever want to buy, including Wrath of the Lich King stuff, including um, like uh, BOEs and whatnot. So just import it right now. So I copied it, I'm going to paste it, Control V. It's going to take a second and then it actually created this nice list. Uh, this list was created by someone on uh, Reddit, I do believe. And just we can just click on import. And it's a bunch of stuff. It's actually like 7,300 different items. And uh, this is a list in a list, the subset and whatnot. It's really, really um, complicated. But um, as you can see, it's a nice list. So BOE is here. Consumables, bags, jams, clips, quest items, even recipes. Uh, what we're looking for is trade goods and then cloth. And uh, this already contains every single cloth in the game. So, we have a group. We have more than a group. We basically have everything now. Go back... Uh, um, escape from the TSM settings. Go into the auctioneer what guy. And then now you have the shopping list. But if you click on the whole base, it's gonna run for everything. And as I said, it's gonna be... Look, my camera is even lagging. It's crazy. It's, it's like 7,300 different items. Uh, that's gonna be insanely long to scan, so we're just gonna go back, and instead of that, we're just gonna unclick base, uh, go all the way down to like um, cloth, just click on cloth, and then this is uh, only gonna search for that one little subset of cloth. So it's still like 41 different items, so it's gonna take a while. And 41 items doesn't mean 41 posts on the auction house, this is 41 unique item. Uh, types as you can see even from my camera lagging that there's there's more than 41 there's like hundreds of cloth items on the auction house right now um, these are only the posts even there's um, some posts only contain one item some posts contains a stack fuck I'm still lagging it's crazy but that's gonna take a while um, if you want to uh, post this because you found a good deal look linen cloth for 42% market price uh, you can stop it right here. Never mind, I think that was just my monitor. Or you can continue it down here. And it's gonna continue. And again, you need to click on this little thing and then... Start buying or bidding or whatever. Uh, but once you do that, the scanning pauses. So you need to continue afterwards. So that's basically how you look for items. You need to have that uh, comprehensive list and then uh, look for the items uh, using these little shopping lists. But how do I post items? Let's buy a couple of Iceweb Spider Silks uh, before we post. So as you can see, um, each post is... Uh, it's, it's important because there's 10 posts of one item, but this post is uh, a stack of three. That was a stack of two. Uh, this is two separate stacks, right? And now we basically reset the uh, market price to 116%. So I've just collected the linen cloth and the ice web spider silk we just bought and I want to sell it. I'm going to click on the auctioneer guy and click on auctioning up here instead of browse. And then select all the items in my bag that I want to post. Uh, you can also just select all down, uh, down here. Click on post selecting and this will calculate some prices. And for some reason I can't sell the linen cloth because it says cheapest auction below minimum price. Um, this means, and I don't know how to set this, I'm sorry, the minimum price, but right now it would be bad to sell the linen cloth because we want to undercut the competition, but the cheapest linen cloth right now is really, really cheap. So we don't want to sell this right now. We want to keep waiting until the linen cloth uh, price resets or until the app updates and the, you know, the cheapest price becomes, you know, lower or we can buy all the linen cloth up uh, to be able to sell all of them at the higher price. If you think about it, you buy all the lin uh, you buy like all the linen cloth down to like 100% and then you can resell them or whatever. But it's not 100% by the way, because 
Remember that we bought the Iceweb Spider Silk? Well, it also said cheapest auction below minimum price just now. I didn't record it. And I had to buy the 116% uh, Iceweb Spider Silk as well for me to be able to right now sell it. Uh, so it's not 100%. You need to buy sometimes even more or, or less. I don't really know how it works. But we can only sell the Falcloth and the Iceweb Spider Silk now. So we just basically have to compost as many times as we want to post. And right now we are posting um, one each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then Falcloth, one, two, three, four, five. And that's it. And what gives? So we still have Spider Silk in our inventory. Why can't we sell it? It says... Uh, posted undercutting competition but if we try again let's it's it must be a glitch or something let's try again post selected maximum amount already posted damn i guess we can only post five spider silk by default because what the add-on wants you to do is maximize profits so if you sell more at the same time the price is gonna go down right but this is really annoying and it's super user unfriendly so we're gonna change the maximum allowed to post again by going into forward slash TSM. We're gonna change the maximum allowed to 200 instead of 5. So go into operations, auctioning operations. This is the default selling stuff for every single item. Posting, it's not well hidden at all, <laughs> by the way. And then the post cap from 5 to 200. You can even change the stack size. Um, I do this with cloth to like stack 5 or whatever. But it would be really annoying right now. Because uh, when you don't have exactly 5. Then these are going to just remain in your inventory. So we're just going to do 1 now. And I'm going to change it to 12 hours. But you don't need to do this. All you need is this 200 post cap. Let's go back. Again auctioning. Iceweb spider seal. Post selected. And bam we can now post all of them. Instead of just being able to post five right so there you go we have installed tsm uh, we've also installed the desktop application we've also bought some items and uh, created a shopping list or shopping group to uh, search for some items more effectively and we have posted some auctions with a 200 maximum limit and in the next video if you want me to make it i can go into uh, some of the TSM macros, like the mouse wheel macro that uh, allows you not to get arthritis when you post hundreds of items on the auction house. I can go more in depth into groups. Uh, again, I'm kind of a noob in these uh, stuff as well. I just wanted to keep it a little bit simple in the first episode. But uh, again, like and subscribe for more and I shall see you in the next one.